one of the questions I get asked the most out of all the questions I get asked is HCI worth it? Let's find out. So our demonstration car is our giveaway 93 GT. That's right. Link is always in the description. Sign up now. This car could be yours. So let's talk about real quick what is the combination in this car. So this 93 GT has a tried and true combo. It's got Trick Flow 170 heads, TFS uh, track heat intake, and an Anderson N41 cam. Probably one of the most solid heads cam intake combos you can put on a Fox body. Now let's bear in mind, you got a couple that heads cam and intake with all the supporting mods like I talked about in my one of my previous videos. This car has that, 373 gears, headers and full exhaust, Holley Terminator X, throttle body, mass air, all of that good stuff. Gotta have that. So is an HCI car fun? So is it worth it? Absolutely. But there's a th few things you gotta remember when you do your heads cam intake setup. Guys, look, Pops car has heads cam and intake. GT40 iron heads, GT40 intake, and an old school Ford Racing E303 cam. But there's a difference, quite a lot of difference. Rolling with a head like a Trick Flow or an AFR, which are essentially about the best heads you can get for a street style build, is going to yield you quite a bit more power than the old school GT40 stuff. Similarly, an intake like a Trick Flow or a Holly System Max or Edelbrock Performer RPM, something like that, is going to yield more than a GT40 style intake. A cam like an Anderson or something custom from FTI is going to yield you more than an off the shelf comparable motorsport or comp cam. At the end of the day, if you're going that deep into the engine, spending all the time, all the money, all the effort to do heads cam intake, I would definitely go with an aluminum head, truck flow or AFR, a decent cam like an Anderson, a uh, intake like a trick flow or a Holly System Max, because there's quite a bit more power there. And again, you're going way deep dive into the engine. You're spending a lot of time and a lot of money 
for that extra power. If you don't have the budget at the moment, I would say save up. It's definitely worth the 20, 30, 40, 50 extra horsepower you're gonna get from a decent heads cam intake setup. One more quick note, guys. If you've got your build planned out, and I've stressed that from day one, you gotta plan your builds out. If you're planning to go boost or stroker or something like that down the road, buy your parts accordingly. And what I say, buy your parts accordingly. If you're planning to go boost, you need a head that's gonna give you a lower compression. Uh, if you plan to go stroker, you probably want to buy, buy a larger head. Uh, similarly with boost as well, you want that extra airflow that might cost you some torque on an NA combo, but down the road when you add the boost or you add the extra cubic inches, it's gonna be worthwhile. So do your research, talk to guys that have done it, talk to guys that have been in the game a long time and plan your build accordingly. That way you're not buying parts twice. And when you do decide to grow, if you decide to grow later on, you're not gonna have a choke point on parts that you've already paid good money for. So guys, I hope that helps. If it did, please drop me a big thumbs up. Catch you on the next one.